months they'd been dating, he had often skived off early to meet Anna for a drink or to come to the house to cook her dinner, and she was pretty confident that she could rely on him to help her out even though it was such short notice. No problem, he said, after she explained the situation over the phone. I'll have to pop home first, but I can probably be there in under an hour. His flat was just over a mile away in Nine Elms, so Anna could live with that. Tom was Mr. Reliable after all. She had never known him to let her down or disappoint her. It was one of the reasons she had fallen in love with him. He was the exact opposite of her ex-husband. Matthew had been selfish, short-tempered, egotistical and controlling. Tom, on the other hand, was kind, calm and generous. The pair were also miles apart physically. Tom was a six-foot, hunky black man with tight curly hair, and the most amazing come-to-bed eyes. At 47, he was four years older than she was. Matthew had been five foot six and pale-skinned, with severely receding fair hair. If he hadn't been murdered three years ago, he would now be 44. Are you sure Chloe won't mind me babysitting? Tom asked. I always get the impression she doesn't like having me around. It's your imagination, Tom. I've told you that. 